shooter simulation in North Charleston. It's still going on right now at the North Charleston Coliseum. ABC News 4's Lara Rollo is there live with more on how low country officials are preparing for the worst. Lara? Hey there, Ashley Dean. There was an active shooter drill tonight, and that took just seconds. But overall, this was a full day of training, not just for officers, but also for civilians. And one North Charleston police officer says he wishes he could have done this earlier because he thinks if he had gotten out, reached out, excuse me, to people already involved in tragedy, he could have really helped them get through. Shots fired at the North Charleston Coliseum. This is a drill, but it mimics what police say could be a very real and very scary situation. When you don't prepare ahead of time, it's a very stressful situation. If you don't think about it ahead of time, you may not be able to muster up the strength to do that. Lieutenant Victor Buskirk says he realized that this kind of training was necessary, not only for first responders, but also for civilians. In a big instance, we kind of dropped the ball with telling civilians what they can do, um, that they have a right to defend themselves, that they need to know their exits, they need to be able to get out of these venues. That's why we don't hone in on one exit. Big events in North Charleston mean crowds of thousands, but even in smaller crowds. Man, the manual church shooting really hit me hard because I'm a protector. And I'm supposed to keep stuff like that from happening. Right, because we want you to be empowered, and that's another thing that we've heard uh, people tell us that, you know, I don't feel helpless about this anymore. This is now the next iteration of the training that we need to do to make sure that we are uh, a self-actualized facility. Frank Lapsley, the general manager of these facilities, says his staff has already undergone training. Now he's opened his doors for others to learn. We take the 80 or 100 people here, and they become advocates for this program. Um, and that they're going to go out and tell people what they learned today. And, and we will become a stronger Charleston as we become better trained at how to deal with bad people. <laughs> long day of training from civilian training to safety seminars and now this they're going to engage the threat and they're going to neutralize the threat uh, that's what we train for that's what we are trained to do in this case all the hostages are safe <laughs> assume civilians made it home safe as well. I think we want to know the public to know that they're safe. We train to make them safe um, and we're going to continue to do that. The officers and, and first responders are prepared uh, if anything happens. And this actually has just recently wrapped up. The participants include North Charleston Police, North Charleston Fire, the Sheriff's Office here in Charleston County, as well as state agencies, and some of the civilian organi organizations excuse me, who took part include the Stingrays, the River Dogs, Volvo Stadium, and much, much more. Lara Rollo, ABC News 4.